Hi everyone, so this is the newest video, so it's about, um, I call it serial infusion. Uh, the two parts are connected to each other, so the vacuum outlet is the inlet for the second part. So here is the outlet going uh, right through the catch pot. Uh, so is, this is a catch pot I've been, um, it's been working well. So that catch pot is uh, connected to the vacuum pump as well. And the vacuum is pulling uh, minus one uh, vacuum so those two parts are under full vacuum at the moment ready to be infused so a next cool feature is I'm infusing on glass plates so you will be able to follow the total infusion on the back side so this is something most people don't see on infusions and so on so might be something to learn out so the first clamp was removed, the resin, I'm using the uh, infusion resin from Easy Composites, is infused straight through the parts, so the parts is um, one layer of carbon fiber matched with uh, small leftovers that I had. So here you can see if you're following on the tube, the outlet will be the inlet of the second infusion. So this is something I've been willing to test for a while finally found the time um, and a good object to do it so it's easier to do like flat plates first before going on to more complex parts so like I said previously those two plates are made with leftovers so it's around um, two layers of carbon fiber so the plate infusion at the moment is uh, text stream backed with some uh, leftovers of texture as well. The other one is just regular carbon fiber, 400 grams. So something cool about infusions is you can clamp off everything. If you're running out of resin, you can just add some resin. So here you can see the half of the infusion has been done. Resin is added and now it's flowing uh, again vertically. So something you need to know, vacuum is not like something you have against gravity and so on so gravity doesn't matter it's just the vacuum so I really think this is a cool shot because here you can see how the infusion is done so it's not like you have a full front on the other side thinking uh, everything is saturated on the back so here you can see it saturates slowly and not evenly so this is something very interesting you can learn out of, out of. so here we are running at the end of the infusion everything went well so this is a line going to the catch pot. So resin will flow out, go into the catch pot if needed. I was able to clamp it off before. Be because the resin was degassed in the beginning, you can see there's like no bubbles. You see one bubble, but it's really not much. Uh, you can do this with a catch pot and just degauss everything. So everything was clamped I let it cure for two days just to make sure it's fully cured um, otherwise it will it will be dry but it will have like a plastic feel you can bend it and so on so this is a setup this is for the future projects if you want to make some guesses please add in comments what it could be uh, seeing just the mold so here I'm removing the peel ply uh, I was trying to, but because of a good release agent, um, the parts came loose out of the bolts, out of the plate. So here I'm removing it after. Uh, so the peel ply was removed. This is the first test plate. So as you can see, it's um, high gloss, no pinholes. Um, so. I think what can you do with such plates so here's really cool uh, Adrian Heimey I hope I pronounce your, your name well for example I could make some um, wall clocks or something like this now it's up to you please comment which plate should I use I have the text stream uh, in two pieces right here it's really looking good uh, it's up to you to choose which one I can use to make a clock out of so as you can see high gloss was achieved. This is all uh, thanks to a high gloss on your molds, in this case the glass plate.
Hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe and comment if needed. Check out my other videos as well. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos and want to see more, please subscribe. You can just click on the YouTube icon. Um, also check out my Facebook page um, during the projects. I mostly post some pictures in between. So if you can't wait for the next tutorials and so on, just give my page a like.